Hi guys, um, what I'd like to do in this little session is to go over uh, the use of Adobe XD. Now, uh, Adobe XD is a wonderful prototyping tool in that we can simulate a lot of the functionality of a website. Um, it's not going to actually be a website, but it is more to establish the look and feel and test out the design and so forth, um, a prototyping tool. But um, let's jump into it and let's uh, see what we can do. So I'm going to build my web page at 1920 by 1080p. Yours might be different. And here we go. So what I've got here is um, a web page, or I should say the simulation of a web page. And for the first time user of um, Adobe XD, you will find it not all that daunting because there's a lot of similarity between Illustrator, if you like. There's a lot of drawing program, uh, drawing tools that you might expect to find in Illustrator, your pen tools and your shapes and such. So it's not all that daunting. So essentially we've got this going on. Um, before I start, perhaps though, I'm over here on my right hand side, I feel like I want to have some sort of guide here. So I want to create a grid essentially. So I'm turning that grid button on and off and you can you can create different types of column setups but for today I think I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, quite quite nice. All right so that's my grid and later on I can turn that off. Um, so let's get started. I'm just going to draw out some content here and it's going to be a full screen wide image. Maybe I'm going to fill that one for the colour and I'm on I go right so there's my sort of it might be a, a, a hero image or something like that um, and then I'm going to uh, put a bit of text in here so I'm gonna put a text box in here so it might be welcome I'm gonna pop that guy up a little bit just increase my size of my text yeah like so there was my welcome page um, just put a little bit of dummy copy down here as well so I'm going to put in some to this up and kind of simulate copy there we go nothing too beautiful but just just so we can simulate a bit of content on the page all right, so that's kind of working, and that's why you definitely need a grid. It helps you to align things and keeps things in order. Okay, one of the great things about uh, the program is that um, you've got the ability to pretty much copy and paste from other applications, and that's that is an absolutely beautiful thing. So if I had other various elements on my uh, available to me, I've got a vector graphic here. I could probably grab. So I've got a little Illustrator file here, and I'm going to copy that graphic, and I can just simply paste that in, and that's just great to be able to do that. Same is true from Photoshop. So if I had um, a Photoshop document available, which I do, I've got a little a little, a little graphic here. Copy that. And I can paste that directly into the program, which is super great. I'm just loving that um, facility. Um, very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. Let me just put that guy there. So copy and pasting, dragging and dropping, very, very nice to be able to do that in this application. It makes life a lot easier. So there's my sort of initial home page. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out that uh, colour while, while I'm actually talking about colour. If that is my brand colour, so perhaps red is my brand colour, I can, in my assets panel, which is this little button right here, I can record that colour. So that if I wanted to draw out, you know, a button or something a little bit later on, I could draw out a button and assign it that colour and that's just sort of take a bit of a like a style guide so I can assign that colour. And the same is true of text. Think of this like a like a paragraph style perhaps. I can record that as a style. So should I need to replicate that 
still have somewhere else? I can do so. It's really nice to just be able to pack that functionality. So there we go, stage one. Um, what I'm going to do is just go to this page just while we're working. I might actually just turn that off so we can see a little bit more clearly. Um, I need an image in here. So what I'm going to do is, again, I've got a few images handy. Uh, I can select that from my uh, folder, drag it onto that active box. Boom, I've got some text in there happening very, very quickly. Very nice. Okay, maybe I'll just pop that up there. That might be a home button for later. Um, so look, we want to repeat this page. I want to create more pages for my simulation. And I'm going to call that home. I think it's really important that you name your pages. Uh, if you don't, things can get a little bit confusing from time to time. So artboards or pages, I can create them here and nominate the page that I want. Or I can click on the name of the page and I'm just holding option and I'll be able to drag that around and shift option if you wanted to go into a constrained fashion. So I've copied that page. This might be my food ideas. Food ideas. Okay. So this is going to be something along those lines, anything really. Food ideas. And I want to change that image. So I've picked up that box, I've selected that box, gone to my images where I've saved my images and changed that image out by clicking onto it and it's going to update. So that's that's very cool. All right, so that's starting to come together a little bit. All right, so I might make a few little cosmetic changes, but essentially that's going well. Um, I think I like these guys over here. I like these guys. Just maybe I'll have those there. And I can select them both and move them around to just get it to look a little bit better. That'll do. It's not beautiful, but we're just building a simulation. Okay, so far so good. What I need to do is make a bit of navigation now. And this is this is where this program does some pretty cool things that you can't typically find in other applications. So what I'm going to do is going to get a text tool and going to write in home. That's the first page of my website. That's home. And right now with that piece of text selected, over on my right hand side, I've got this thing called Repeat Grid, which is super cool. It's an absolute game changer. So clicking on that means that I can create this sort of concertina kind of look. I'm only going to build, so I can build that as many ways as I like. It's really cool. But I'm only building three pages, so I'm going to just have that. Okay, so there's my little nav bar. This would be ideas. Ideas page, and I think I'm actually going to build a gallery page as well. So there's my little nav bar. Right, so I'm going to position that where I sort of want it. Uh, gallery, and I can click in here and extend, or this little pink area here, you can just hover in there. There it is, and you can extend or Push that out a bit, yeah, that's better. A little bit of fiddling. There we go, there's my little navigation bar. Right. Now I want it to be on this page as well, don't I? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that, so Command C, I'm gonna click on the name of my page and paste it. So that should paste that in the exact uh, same position. All right. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna repeat this down one more time. So I'm going to click on the name of my page, drag it down, and just give yourself a little bit of room between these pages. It's probably a good thing to do. Um, all right, so I'm going to make some changes on this page. This is my gallery page. So make, again, make sure you name your pages, and it's just good practice. There we go, beautiful. All right, um, so that's all working. This image, 
maybe we're not going to need. So what I'm going to do is delete that out, maybe even delete that out. And what I'm going to do is create a couple of a series of boxes, like so. So there's my box, like so. I'm going to have a bit of explanatory text underneath of it, so that you know maybe I'm going to have two or three items across here, like so. That'll be good. And we're going to use that repeat grid again. So this time I've got two items: got text and graphic. Selecting both of the shapes, repeat grid, and then I can drag those out to sort of simulate my sort of gallery page. And remember that we can concertina these guys in or out further. You know, depending upon what we want. It's a little bit tight, but we'll go with it just for the exercise. And there we go. And of course, if you had a deeper page, you could extend out that other way. But just for this exercise, we're just going to go with that. I've got four pictures to bring in here. So I'm going to navigate over to my image folder. I've got a few images here to use. Oops, get on that. And I've got one, two, three, four pictures. Dragging onto that, and they'll all jump in there, which is super cool. Very nice. So here's essentially my, my web page hooked up. It's obviously not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's going to serve to function. So once I've designed this thing and I've you know, put it all together and I'm sort of happy with the look. I want to test it out. I want to see how it all goes together. So what I'm going to do is jump into the prototyping area of the application. And it's here where we can hook up buttons and create transitions and things like that. So first things first, I guess you'd want to navigate through this document. So home is home. This is my home page. Ideas my ideas and I'm double clicking into these words and I'm going to click and drag it to go to food ideas. It's going to transition to this page and the transition, I can tell it to transition in a particular way. So if I wanted to slide down or push up, slide down, maybe slide down, it'll slide down over the course of, you know, whatever amount of time I ask it to do so. And the gallery, I can click on the little pick whip and drag him down to the gallery page. Slide down, beautiful. All right, so that's that navigation. So you definitely need to repeat these processes. So double clicking goes home. And these ones tend to remember, so maybe he slides up. Ideas is itself, so that's fine. Gallery to gallery. Yep, that's fine. And home. Now, instead of me dragging this pick whip up, I can click on this and actually choose an artboard. So this is why I said that naming uh, pages is a good idea. It makes, a lot more, makes it a lot easier to say that when I click this home button right here, I want you to go to home. So I don't have to drag my pick whip up. Ideas. I can transition to ideas and gallery is itself also things like this this little logo that might be my brand i can tell that to go to home at all times it's sort of about creating good user experience but we as consumers are accustomed to certain things being a certain way on web pages so you know we all know or educated to know that that's typically the logo typically takes me home. All about the user experience. So just having multiple ways that my consumer can get around the website without, you know, anything strange happening. Um, okay, I think that's not too bad at this stage. So we've hooked up the buttons. And yes, there's so many more things you can do with this. But essentially, that's creating content on the page. We have created some certain brand colors. So if we, you know, we've established, we can create reusable brand colors and we can establish that we can create reusable text styles, uh, which is all able to be done in the assets panel of uh, XD. So we are looking like we might be ready for test. So let's check it out. 
I'm going to hit go back to the home page. I'm going to hit my run button and see how we go. So home we are. Ideas. Gallery. Home. Ideas. Yeah, that all seems to work quite well. Um, great little simulation. Um, look, I hope that's been helpful. Um, there's so much more you can do with this and uh, I really look forward to seeing what interesting and amazing things you guys do. Okay, so that's enough of me for now and I will see you in the lesson.